Welcome to Carly Tackle's Kitchen Cabinets, Part 7, Installing Our Drawer Fronts. In my previous video, we made these drawer fronts. Since then, I've sanded, stained, and applied a few coats of polyurethane. Now that everything's dry, I'm ready to install them onto the drawers. Also, we decided that we wanted to have a half inch overlay, and that's how we determined the size of drawer fronts we were making. So our half inch overlay also comes to place when we are installing our drawers. We wanna make sure that we have a half inch on each side and top and bottom that our drawer front covers evenly. To help me do this, I use a Craig Multi-Mark tool. I set it to a half inch and I just set it up to my edges and I marked it with blue paint tape. So all of these strips of blue paint tape is basically marking a half inch from the top, the bottom, the left, and the right on all my drawers. I found this a lot easier than actually marking up my cabinets that I've already stained and finished. To help hold the drawer fronts in place while I install them, I'm going to be using Rockler's Drawer Front Installation Clamps. I'm applying my Rockler clamps to my drawers, making sure that the left is on the left side and the right is on the right side. When your clamps are secure, insert your drawer front. Now this block I've used before as a spacer between the drawers to make sure that I'm having this right distance between the top and the bottom. Once that is in place, Start lining your drawers up to the half inch marks on your cabinet. You can use a framing square to help line, make sure all your drawers are lined up so they all look straight. Lining up the drawers will take the most amount of time, and you don't want to rush this step. If you do not have a spacer, or even if you do, you still might want to use a level and a tape measure to check to see how your drawer lines up with the other drawers. When you have your drawer ready and in the position you want it to be in, time to screw the front into the drawer but by doing though you want to drive your screws in from inside your drawer out you don't want to put any holes in your faceplate. Now to start I'm only going to drive in two screws one on each side. If I find that one of these drawers is slightly off when I'm all said and done I need to re-drive in the screws and I'd rather re-drill two holes instead of having four holes in each of my drawers. Once everything is perfect and I like everything the way it is, I will drive in two more screws. So each drawer will have four screws, two on each side, holding the front in place. Now that the drawer front is screwed into the drawer, I want to add my hardware before I fully remove the clamp. To do this, I need to measure the center point of my drawer. If you don't remember from last video, my drawer fronts are 24 and a half inches long. So my center is 12 and a quarter. Now I'm going to be using some paint tape so that I can make my mark on my drawer without actually making my mark 
on the drawer. So you're just gonna apply some paint tape. It doesn't have to be perfect. Twelve and a quarter. And just to be safe, I'm also gonna check that measurement from the other side. That way if I am off slightly, I can find the center. Looks really close. The next thing I'm gonna do is grab one of my speed squares, pop it on top of the drawer like so, find that mark with my pencil, and I'm gonna draw my line. To help me install the hardware on my drawers, I'm going to be using this Craig jig. Now you can use this for cabinet doors, drawers, whether they're a pole or a knob, you can set this up either way. There's these two drill guides right here and you can move them left and right or center if you are just doing a knob. Now my drawer poles are five inches, so I set these to five inches. And then the back has a fence that helps you center vertically. Based off of my drawer's height, I set this to three inches. When I set this on top of the drawer, that fence centers me vertically. Now I drew this center line all the way down so that I can line it up with the hardware. There's a zero right here that I line it up. There's this little slot that has some notches, as well as in this big center one, there are lines. So I just need to line this up with my pencil. Double check that, sorry. And I'm also using the Craig Auto Max clamp. It's just easier to clamp it in place when I have it all set. Now because these have drill guides, they actually keep your drill bits centered. So it's like using one of those drill blocks. You don't have to worry about your drill kind of going up at an angle, left or right. It helps hold your drill bit perfectly centered, giving you nice holes for your uh, screws. The drill bit for most hardware is 3 16 It also says that on the packaging, so you don't have to remember that the packaging on this instructions will tell you. Using just a regular drill bit here, I'm just going to drill for more. Now look how nice those holes turned out. I'm gonna vacuum this up here before I apply my hardware.
Thanks for watching Carly Tackles Kitchen Cabinets Part 7 Installing Your Drawer Fronts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you're interested in any of the products seen in this video, check out the video description below. To find more videos similar to this one, please subscribe to my channel, Carly Tackles DIY Tools and Gadgets Tips and Tricks. Make sure you hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new content. Thank you.